day two of fishing out here in the hills got ourselves some cutthroat trout haven't filled them yet i've just been getting stuff set up and but they're biting pretty good so hopefully we can get a few more on the line it's a bite got him Did you? Yeah, we'll pull the worm on off. Yeah, I got a dink. It's tiny. Wee! Oh, it's a chub. <laughs> Dude, we can keep him. Dude, ooh, that'd be ooh. Got my pike my bait. Pike bait, big, maybe even big lake trout, dude. Yeah. Ooh, look at that little, little chub. Yeah, yeah we can just put the net in the water, dude. We're going to be trying to target some big pike and hopefully big rainbows later on. There's one playing with it, but he's not committing. Come on. Oh, is that down? No. Got him. It's a decent one. No, he came off. Ah, oh. oh. he was playing for with us for so long. Yeah, he was just. Ah, oh. let's get that back out there. They're biting. That's like. Dang. You think any of these small little bees? Mm. And they're biting now. Holy cow! Just put that back out there. Let him eat it. Got him, hopefully. Oh no, there's a bite on that rod. Uh, he's a nice one. Oh, you come. All right, I'm gonna have to see if this one's still here. Doubled up? I think so. Oh, he didn't even eat the... He didn't even eat the marshmallows. He just ate the, uh, the worm on bottom. <laughs> Doubled up on cut, cutthroat trout. That's awesome. Look at that. <laughs> oh, these, are, they, these trout are so awesome. There he goes. You just need a little extra boost. Little trout on. Got him. Not a big one. Oh, oh, I say that. Oh, come on. There we go. Man, that's a nice cutthroat. burping at me look at that oh these fish are just so pretty look at those pinks on them am i getting another double header oh my gosh dude they're just biting oh, that's a nice fish I want to eat the worm again. There we go. That's probably the biggest one I've caught. Oh, these such cool fish. I'm gonna take a picture. I'm gonna let them go. There they go. I'm gonna talk about real quick what I'm using for these cutthroats. Not doing anything too special. I was just using a little hook, but I wasn't getting far enough out there, so I exchanged that out for just a little tungsten jig. Got that tip of some night crawler. Then about 36 inches above that, I got just a little float, a little rattle, just to give a little extra presentation. And I'm pretty much just trying to like there's one. I don't know if it's gonna pick up. There's one way out there. They're mostly hugging right along the the ice here, so I'm trying to get it out as far as I can.
which isn't that far as I'd like, but it's working. I've got two since I put the tungsten jig on. I think just that little extra difference or distance is working. And I think I put the chartreuse tungsten on, so I think they're just seeing that a little more than just the nightcrawler itself. And then on this rod, what I was trying to do was put it on bottom and then have a little floating marshmallow, kind of just hold it above, up just up off bottom. But I didn't have any sinkers, or at least I can't find them. I misplaced them somewhere. So I just took one of these little buckshot jigs and just added that as my weight. And then I was, since there's an extra hook out there, just put some crawler on. And they've actually been eating the crawlers much more than the float or the marshmallow itself. So I might just do a double marshmallow or a double night crawler out there. Let's see how that actually works. So they're feeding out, oh, and as I'm saying that, I got a bite. Bring up slack, set hook, got him. Ooh. Whoa, Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a real nice one. And these cut these cutthroats, they from you for their size, they fight. They fight harder than rainbows. Oh, this one is so pretty. Whoa. That might be PB right there. Look at the colors on these things. Bright red and pink fins. And that chin, that's why they're called a cutthroat. Let him go. Here we go. Oop. And that one was ready. He wasn't like the other ones that was sluggish. He just took off. Got another little mishap with trying to get the GoPro going, but we got one. Another nice one. Look at that. God, these are just such cool looking fish. Here we go. Oh, oh, bigly. They're just so much more like sleeker than like rainbows and browns. They're weird looking almost. Not used to that. I just love the look of these things. No, they're cutty. Yep. Oop. You know what? You get to have that worm. You get to eat that. There you go, dude. He's going to hold on to that worm and he's going to eat it. Just put that back out there and something's already eating it. Here we go. He's tiny. Oh, and he's better than I thought he was. My goodness, these things are just awesome. And he's got like a white eye. Look at that. That's, that's scary looking. It's a normal eye. Look at that. He's like a zombie fish almost. but let's let him cut. Oh. Just one thing with these cutthroats are a little more delicate when compared to like rainbow or brown. These are just some nice cutthroats. That wind is starting to pick up. You might hear that in the background a little bit. Oy, there we go. Nice little cutthroat. My 
might be one on this one. It's hard to tell with this wind now. This wind just picked up. There it is. Feels like a good fish. So it's sideways. Oh, he swallowed it. We'll have to keep this one. Got another one. Ooh, that's a nice one. Man, look at that. That might be PB status there. He's chunky. He's not like the other ones. They were like all thin. Let's let him go. He should be golden to go. Yep, there he goes. It almost looks like they're bleeding because their fins are red. All right, spot number two. Oh, I forgot to grab my batteries back at the car, so I just have to make this little quick spot for filming. Oh, they come off? Yep, dang. Yeah, that's a bigger fish. Feels like it at least. It's PB cutthroat there. Yep. That's the biggest cutthroat I've caught in today. Hooked just right in the top jaw there. Yeah, open your mouth so I can get the hook out, dude. Oh man, you are not coming off. There we go. Well, all right, we're trying one last spot before we call it a night. I'm gonna try some fly fishing here. See what happens. I'm not really that great of a fly fisherman, but it's something I like to do. Oh, whoa, dang it. Biting it. I'm try putting it just a little shallower. This isn't very deep water. Oh, there's one circling. Got him. There we go. Oh, I don't have a net. Oh, over you come. Sweet. Nice little trout on the fly. Hey, let's get you off the hook, dude. Let's let it bounce. 